Live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Unbound. Brought to you by Blockchain Industries. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's live special coverage here in Puerto Rico for Blockchain Unbounded, which is the global event where people from around the world are coming from Silicon Valley, New York, Miami, all over the globe, Moscow, all over the world here talking about blockchain, decentralized internet, and of course, cryptocurrency. Your next guest is Olga Petronina with Adara.io. Welcome to theCUBE. Hi, happy to be here. Thanks for coming on. So you're from Thanks. Moscow, which is, you know, it's cold there right now. What's it like? Yeah, it's minus 15. <laughs> it's much better here in Puerto Rico. I'm happy. <laughs> it's so exciting to have you. Thanks for coming on. So the global conference, this is really a global phenomenon. Take a minute to explain what you're working on, what the product is, what it will become. Is it launched yet? What's the company about? Take one minute to explain. Okay. Uh, we are building an intelligent blockchain ecosystem, which consists of exchange and crypto wallet with artificial intelligence mechanism inside. So, um, we are providing access to the crypto for Main Street investors, who have no idea about crypto, want to invest, just put their money on our wallet, pick up the strategy, and just get money. <laughs> so you're targeting mainstream investors, not like the insiders. No, no. Of course we have professional players on our platform because uh, we're going to educate our investment mechanism with uh, strategy of professional crypto traders. So you're going to have an exchange and software behind it. Explain the uh, architecture of the solution. Yeah, right. Um, we are based on NEM, it's our core partner, uh, and we are early adopters of their new protocol Catapult. Um, and uh, we integrated it in our exchange because uh, they have really good new features like aggregated transactions when you can see, uh, send a pool of different transactions or different currencies in one transaction. That's a really great idea. And also they implemented decentralized exchange in their protocol. So our exchange right now is centralized and uh, we're going to build the decentralized part of our exchange based on Catapult. Are you worried about the centralized portion because of the recent hacks? How are you thinking about doing that? Yeah, in case we are using uh, uh, NAM protocol, they have like four layers of security. It, as for me, it's the most secure and most scalable protocol. Uh, and of course, we are using uh, the cold wallets connected to our platform, so we are not storing any, anything uh, on uh, hot wallets. It's like 95% storing on uh, cold wallets. What's your biggest fear? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> spiders. <laughs> no, I'm just, you know. Is that a cryptocurrency I don't know about yet? <laughs> um, um, as for me, the, the, the biggest problem for crypto is regulation. So yeah. now we have to, like, the building the, uh, the structure for obtaining uh, different licenses in different countries. So we update for licenses in Dubai, in Estonia, uh, and also we are going to apply in Switzerland. So it's really hard to negotiate every day the new news regarding regulation. So, so talk about the where your exchange will be. You mentioned Dubai. Yeah. Do you going to having one in one nation, or are you going to have multiple countries participating? How does it work? Does yeah, it, yeah. everyone have to participate? Oh, you know, in case of that, in Dubai there is no the like legal uh, structure for, for example, bank licenses and crypto. So we're going to obtain bank licenses and crypto in Switzerland. Uh, in Dubai, we obtain for license trade and crypto into commodities because Dubai, are, they are focused on commodities base. Um, and uh, in Estonia, we received a, a payment system license and brokerage license. So one of the big news last this week is Coinbase, one of the most popular exchanges, had done a deal with the UK government. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that, the Fa Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA, just now gave them a license to, for their fast payment service mm -hmm. to Fiat. So a new government move, really interesting. Yeah, that's good. Are the, are the governments that you're talking to thinking the same way? Yeah, uh, we talked to Central Bank of Dubai, they also gonna legalize all the crypto and uh, involve the blockchain and cryptocurrency companies to set up in uh, their, their legal structure in Dubai. Uh, the same with Estonia also, so. 
everybody want to be like the crypto alley, you know. The, the crypto Wall Street. Yeah, crypto Wall Street. I know every country wants to do it. Puerto Rico, <laughs> Armenia, right. Duke, uh, Bahrain wants to get on the action. Yeah, the same with Russia. Uh, we are members of uh, Russian Blockchain Association and we are working on laws for uh, Russian government regarding crypto and uh, it's going to be pretty pretty good regulation and uh, I will pub a public chain this summer, like July. So I hope that it will be Olga, talk about the entrepreneurial landscape in Russia right now. How vibrant is it? Obviously, we know, we know they have technology, you know, savvy. Uh, uh, about me. Okay. And Russia in general. And Russia the Russian in, general. in Moscow and the Yeah, and a the, lot uh, of good blockchain kids. developers. Yeah. Vitalik is Russian, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I interviewed his mom, yeah. by the way. Yeah, our developers are based in Moscow. Uh, that's why I'm also based in Moscow. And um, uh, everybody, like, you know, crazy about crypto in Moscow because uh, um, I think we have a lot of good tech background uh, in Russia. So why why not use it for blockchain expansion? Yeah, great great uh, Russian expertise. You know, a lot of Russian developers are good. But also in Estonia, there's some great developers too. All over the world. Oh, uh, why? Well, Russia has the revolution. best in blockchain. Vitalik <laughs> Buterin is Russian, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, 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 we get him on the queue, we'll, we'll grill him. What do you hope to do in the na next? What's next for you? Uh, we're going to be public in June. Uh, now, we already developed our exchanges full of testnet and security check. Uh, after that, we going to build our artificial intelligence investment mechanism. So we need like one year and a half for educated. Um, and our next step, we are thinking about tokenization real assets also. Um, because we already have always elements which is necessary for tokenization uh, in our core partners technology in them. Uh, so I think that we will move in this area also. What is the uh, main thing that you're going to use in your exchange that's going to make you different? What's different about your exchange? Um, we have a lot of expertise from different traders around the world. Uh, uh, and all of them are claiming about the unstable APIs of exchange. And we are focused on high scalability and uh, uh, like best technologies in API building of exchange because we need a lot of uh, traders on the platform. We are developing the APIs for follow trade. Uh, so it's like our best feature, I guess. What kind of partnerships are you looking to do with other people? Uh, we're looking for traders, of course, because we need them to bring our platform, uh, to bring liquidity to the platform. We are looking for companies uh, which are going to list on our exchange. Uh, looking for investors also. Great. <laughs> yeah. Olga, what do you think about this conference here? Well, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, I first time in Puerto Rico, I was really surprised. It's amazing country, uh, amazing island, um, and uh, a lot of good connections. Yeah. So I'm yeah. happy to be here. It's a global, <laughs> yeah, global it's, landscape right now. Yeah, right. It's global, peer-to-peer -peer economy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Olga, thank you for coming Thanks. on, sharing. Um, the cube, and we learned something today. You, you don't like spiders. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're for afraid of spiders. Me. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, more cube coverage here in Puerto Rico. I'm John Furrier, the host of the cube, extracting the signal from the noise here in Puerto Rico. This is the cube's extending coverage, continuing coverage of the blockchain, cryptocurrency, and the decentralized application revolution. We'll be right back after this short break.